I would like to welcome viewers to our time of worship for the parish of Avon Valley on this, the 17th Sunday after Pentecost, the 15th of September, 2024. I do not glory except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. And let us pray. Almighty God, you call your church to witness, and in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may turn to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The morning's Gospel lesson is taken from the 8th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark, beginning at the 27th verse. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Here ends the reading of this morning's Gospel. Jesus asked the question, who do you say that I am? Peter replies, You are the Messiah. Peter acknowledges Jesus as the Anointed One, the long-awaited Christ who comes to redeem Israel. Jesus begins to speak plainly about what it means for him to be the Christ, the Anointed One of Israel. He tells the disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, suffer many things, be rejected, killed, and after three days rise again. This is not the triumphant Messiah Peter and many others were expecting. Peter's reaction is immediate and visceral. He rebukes the Lord. The idea of a suffering Messiah does not fit Peter's vision of glory and power. Jesus then says to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. Jesus is not calling Peter the devil, but rebuking the temptation to avoid the path of suffering. He points out that Peter's thinking is rooted in human concerns rather than God's. The reign of Christ is to be rooted in sacrificial love, not force and control. Jesus lays out a path for himself and all his followers. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 
To follow Christ means embracing a life of self-denial and sacrifice. It means putting the needs of others before our own comforts and ambitions. Discipleship boils down to the love of neighbor and of God. It is ultimately about giving up our desires for the sake of others and Christ's mission. It is about adopting a posture of humility and service, even when it leads to suffering. This is the paradox of faith. It is by losing our lives for Jesus' sake that we actually find our true selves. This counterintuitive wisdom of giving away in order to gain is embedded in the familiar prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, with which I will close my remarks. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows, and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And gathering all our prayers together, let us praise Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. Amen. Oh,